This is Mia and her mom. Today they're going to help us understand whole numbers as fractions. Mia is in the kitchen finishing her fraction homework when her mom comes in to remind her it's time to finish the cakes for the bake sale. Mia is very excited to be baking with her mom, but she's a little worried about her fraction homework. Mom says not to worry. Baking is all about fractions. For example, we can take this whole cake and cut it into four equal pieces. If there are four equal pieces, that's our denominator. We still have four pieces, so this fraction is four fourths. But what if Dad comes into the kitchen and swipes a piece of cake? Now we only have three pieces, or three fourths of the whole. Since Dad swiped a piece of cake, Mia decides to eat one too. Now we only have two pieces or two-fourths of the whole. Mom decides to have a piece too, so that leaves us with just one piece or one-fourth of the whole. Mom and Mia worked all afternoon and in the end they had three beautiful cakes for the bake sale. But then Mia wondered, how can you show fractions if you have more than one whole? Mom and Mia decided to start with one whole cake. The denominator is one because the cake is not cut into pieces. The numerator is also one because you have one piece. They have three cakes and each cake can be represented as one over one. All together there are three cakes and each cake is cut into just one piece. Three is the number of cakes and one is the number of pieces. Three over one is our fraction. Mia notices something interesting. If the numerator or the top number is bigger than the denominator or the bottom number, we have more than one whole. Now it's homework time. The first cake was one whole that was cut into four equal pieces. We can show that on a number line by making four equal sections and labeling each one. You can also represent a fraction on a number line when you have more than one whole. In this case, we have three cakes, so divide the number line into three equal pieces. The first is one over one, or one whole, two over one, and three over one. Mia and her mother have three beautiful cakes for the bake sale, but more importantly, they have a great understanding of fractions and whole numbers. And now you do too.